The last command we'll take a look at in this module is wait until. Similar to the wait for commands, wait until is used to delay tests until a specific event or state has occurred. The difference is that with wait until, you're the one defining what to wait for. To use wait until, you pass it a function to run, which will return either true or false, depending on the current state of the page. If true is returned, the wait is considered complete and the test proceeds as normal. False will delay the test either until it's ready to test the state again or the timeout is reached. In our cart checkout test, we check that the button changes to purchasing, but not that it changes back to buy now. That's because the purchasing text change occurred immediately after the button click. The revert back to buy now, though, only occurs after an undefined time delay. One quick note before we continue. There is a wait for text command already available, but the command only checks for text to appear in the element. It doesn't care what text is there, only that it has text. It won't work for our needs as the button already contains the purchasing text. We'll build off the test we wrote last video, adding another one to the mix. We'll use the only Mocha feature to run just this test, saving us a little bit of time in development. Before we get to wait until, let's write the assertion that we'll be checking out that the text is back to normal. To do this, we'll get the text inside the button, then assert that it equals by now. Let's go ahead and run this really quick to make sure that our test fails without the proper wait. As expected, it doesn't pass because it didn't wait long enough for the text to change. Let's go ahead and fix that. Before our assertion, we'll add a wait until command. Instead of taking an element selector, wait until accepts a JavaScript function. We can either define what's called an anonymous function inside the wait until command, or pass in a function as a variable. To keep things simple, I'll stick with defining a function here. We'll also need to define how long we want to wait before the test reports an error. We'll stick with three seconds. Inside our function, we'll need to write an expression that returns either true or false. Remember, we're gonna be returning false until our condition is met. For our check, we'll get the text inside the button and see if it's not purchasing. We could also run a check that the text equals buy now. Either would work. Just to demonstrate that it's continuously running the check while waiting for the function to return true, I'll add a console log inside, which will print out multiple times during our test run. Let's see it in action. As the test runs, you can see the here message be logged out multiple times. It's actually running our button text comparison every half second. Once a condition is met, the rest of the test continues and it now passes. Before finishing up, we should clean up our file. I'll remove the console login only statement to assure our test run normally again. Wait until is a very flexible command that allows you to check all sorts of properties. You could use it to check that the CSS is set to a specific value or check an attribute of an element. It really just depends on what you need. That's it for the wait commands and module four. In the next section, we'll dive into more customized commands with add command and execute.